much more tougher, you know. So at least just look at this. Look, 180. Oh, dear, dear. dear. Well, it's a 140 followed by a maximum, and Lisa Ashton's taking control here. Still has to get to the end of the leg and hit the double, but the first set is now hers to lose. 97. It really is. It really is. In fact, you just say she's got about nine darts from here, really. 100. Brilliant. Well, the Welsh team are in. They won't be happy with what they're seeing right now. Huntley needs to fill this up. He's not going to leave the finish. 140. So he isn't. 81. 81. 57. Yeah, double 12. Oh, Game what a win the first set. set. No Lisa messing. Rashford. No messing. Well done, Lisa. Well, it's actually... That makes sense. She's going to go back for double four, which is uh, which is a good double to go for. But Mike's just not putting her under pressure at all. 45. You know, he's, Lisa he's requires still, still got a lot to do. That's the Game set. Shot. And yeah, the second it is the set. set. And that is a very, very strong start to this match from Lisa Ashton. Mike currently left with a rear... Or treble 18. Travel 10, she went to the tops. 30. Little rare miss on the old, uh, on the old double there. Yeah, she'll be annoyed there from 100, only getting one dart at a double. Yeah, definitely. Two for Wayne. Yeah, lovely dart. Double 16. This to go two up. Yeah, good dart. Game shot in the second leg. Good dart. Michael Huntley. Could be a look, look, people forget he has made a couple of finals. Oh, yeah, he can still throw a dart, that's for sure. I'll we'll be looking 19th. Yeah, 177. Sure. It's a good set, this from Huntley, isn't it? Because Ashton really? was throwing everything at him before. 100. A little tad Michael of pressure. Is he going to split it again? Or go for it? Yeah, he has split it. Double 16. Lovely. Game what a good John set. Of third set. <laughs> good set. Of Michael dots. Huntley. This is Michael requires He really needs five. this. He needs this. He'll go 17s, I'm sure. But uh, he really does need this. It will only be one dart at double. It will be. He needs it. Oh. Game shot on the second leg. That's a great dart Michael under pressure. Huntley. That's a great dart under pressure. He He's it. finding a couple of trebles. Treble for ball. Bullseye. Bullseye, take the set. Oh, 103. Right and now Lisa Ashton wants Lisa 70 to take the 70. match. Triple 18 or triple 10 again? 20 tops. One at eight. Oh. 50. But well, he couldn't look. He could not look. <laughs> Michael requires 25. <laughs> He's still effectively only going to have two at it. Only. Well, then this goes in where he wants it to do, which it has. Double eight. Oh, Game shot on the fourth off. set. Michael a Huntley. A nice smile from Lisa Ashton as Michael Huntley saves his skin. Like, <laughs> that was a nervy one, wasn't it? Hey, that's where the nerves kicked in. And the difference being 100. that he was at the point of no return. Michael requires yeah. 125. He needs this. Trouble 20. Ooh. 97 left. He'll go downstairs now. Great. 85. Left tops. Lisa requires 80. So 80 for oh, Ashton. Oh, Game shot on the oh, second leg. Word. Lisa Heck Ashton. Was that? Third leg. Michael to throw first. Well, now yep. he Game has on. to start in this leg. So Huntley holding the advantage. That's a cracking dog. At this stage of it. Oh, fantastic. Job 19. Oh, 100. Brilliant. What a time 177, 8 lead 24. Brilliant. Got what he needed. He did. Put this under pressure, Lisa. Trouble 17, here we go. 137. Michael requires What he needs now is double 12 to take us to a tie break. I love this situation. I really do. Getting closer. Oh! 12. Well, so, Lisa... Yeah, he's, he's done it. Lisa exactly what happened last 74. year. And now Lisa Ashton can Have put him away. One. Yeah, at least one. This one? Game it. There shot! What a and fabulous the match! Game of Lisa Ashton! Ashton. Yeah, they could set up. 97. Yeah, I think Richard 40. needs to, to try and get a leg on the ball to, to settle himself and uh, get himself into this match. Game shot on the second leg. 
Nilgoff. Yeah, Duff's had no trouble Delivery on the doubles at all. First. Game one. I was speaking to Neil earlier, and I think he was telling me he's only just got back from Spain the, the last mm -hmm. day or so. So he's, uh, I hope he ain't got no travel worries, no jet lag from Spain. <laughs> Been one or two that have come from further afield. Yeah. Saw an all Canadian clash in the afternoon session. Great end to that game from Jim 96. Long. Back to back 11 darters to beat yeah. David Cameron. He had quite a few 180s as well in that, um, towards the end of that game. Uh, again, Jim's in another player. Yeah, good, good tops there from Neil, who's, who's, when he gets that tops, he's very, Second very good on tops, Neil. Neil yeah, and important as well, but a 16-year-old <laughs> in Luke Littler giving the trophy to the new winner who was 40 years older this than him. quite bizarre, really. <laughs> but it just does, does go to show that this is a sport for everyone. And Luke's just seemed to be going from strength to strength since he's... Uh, since he's won the, the two Modus Champions Weeks. Game shot on the uh, second leg. Fantastic on the Richard tour. And, and we all know how he's done in the World Championships. Like we, we speak about all the sort of nuances of this format. One thing, he's won a couple of legs in this set, but still doesn't have anything to show for it on the scoreboard until he gets that third leg That's in the right, set. That's right, yeah. What a great the maximum to start. That will certainly aid his cause. Ninety-seven. Nice cover shot from Neil. <laughs> oh, hello. Well, we haven't seen one yet in a seniors oh, major event. We have seen one on two, haven't we? we Mark Dubridge. Yeah. Mark hit one in Newbury. Let's hope that um, Richard can copy that now. 60, Richard Ricard, 140. 141 for a moment of history. For the nine dart finish, it would be the first in a World Seniors major event. Well, <laughs> I think he was thinking about a it. Roy smiled here. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to get his head on now, make sure he wins this leg. Yeah, of course, the all-important thing is winning this leg, particularly as it is for the set, to level up the match. 82. Yeah, good last start. Well, they were all on the edges of their seats for a moment then. But all Richard Eric Rowlands wants to be is level 89. in the game. Richard Ducar, 69. And he will be if he converts 59, and he's got a lot of time to do it as well. It's not a good first start. Right. He wants to attack this, doesn't he? Because he'd be yeah. better off he'd better busting than exactly. leaving double. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, a, yeah. that's a good decision. A good decision now. Yeah, fair enough. No point risking it. But now it's a chance for Neil to really put that pressure on and could have done with two 89. trebles now. Richard Ducar, 59. Right, 19. Not the treble. <laughs> yeah, just calming himself down. Yeah. Clever from Neil, though, just to make sure he has left some kind of exactly. finish. Ends up in the double this time if he over-adjusts, but that's a good dart, and he does get to where he wanted to be, on tops, yeah, in tops. Great last dart there from Richard. Richard. Yeah, great set in response to losing the first from the Welshy, and his match stomp back for Neil Duff. He'll return for 62, maybe under pressure, though. Yeah. That first dart now is there every time, isn't yeah, it, for Richard's Roland? really finding it now. That's a great part, leave yourself 36. Well, it's okay, he's missed, but he can rectify the situation. Double 16. 46. Yeah, only give himself one dart, car, double there. In a match preferred to use one as a marker, maybe. Richard can really punish him now. Can he use that? Well, he wanted that earlier on, and yeah. now it's the least seen target on the dartboard. Double 17. Two. 
Yeah, yeah that's, that's a double that yeah. most art players don't tend to like. We never really get a chance to go for it. Yeah, probably don't tend to practice. No. And you'll be happy to take that in one. Not knowing exactly where you are before you approach the yeah. hockey. It's never a good thing to have to, to think once you've started throwing. You really need to go up net ball knowing what you're going to do. So Neil Duff will return, looking for 60 to move back ahead to one in sets under pressure. Good dance there from Richard. Neil will want to ping this one out and make sure the set. That's a great the set. That's setting down there. Picked up the pace a little bit and it's starting to bear fruit for Neil Duff. Oh, this would be beautiful. 25 for another bullseye. <laughs> is, is he going to go for it? <laughs> well, a bit of a fun if, moment. I don't know if he's blocked himself there. I think that's what he was, uh, he was quite laughing at. You've got to go for it. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, but, but he's still in a good position. This himself 25. He's going to come back at that. But has he... Has he that we wanted to see him go for it and hit it, but as he talked himself into trouble here, because now he's only got two darts of double, where he would have yeah, had three. So. Trying to be the entertainer, he might actually end up with a bit of egg on his face. Especially as Neil's left tops. Important darts, these. And really for the first time, Neil Duff just takes a moment here. This for the win. Is it a one? Twenty. Richard Yukar thirty two. Well it's four miss. Match darts now, three at double 19, one at double top, but he should have had two at double in that visit. Look at the animation from Rollins as he made his way to the hockey there. This is a massive dart, this one. Game shot on the second leg. Here they are. Felt like Richard is... It's an important dance for Richard here. Ten. Well, that's done there. Neil Duff deflected into the single one and it's just caused a little bit of a problem. He still have a shot at tops, I would imagine. Yeah. And well, it's nicely match. out of the way. Game, Sean, yeah, Neil Duff gets a job done against the plucky Richard Eric Rowlands, a qualifier who only... We're talking about close encounters here. Glenn Durant and Mark Dubridge on the same finish, and he's really locked himself out. If he gets a treble from there, hats off to him. Durant wants two to get a go at a double to get the lead. Eighty-five, Martin Yukar, ninety-six. Obviously, Gladden's number one supporter, his grandson Reggie, will be watching them tonight. Courtesy of obviously his uh, daughter Amy and partner, jo um, sorry, Roberts. daughter Amy and Four partner Jordan. Let little Reggie stay up a bit longer to watch Grandad tonight. Mm -hmm. Mark's now thinking, right, just leave a finish, we'll go for it. And that first start is a perfect first start, and now so is the second. He's going for the bulls. I just wondered if he might go for the one if he just didn't get Paul Hicks to bellow it out and rattle Duzza's cage. But he could rattle Dubridge's cage here. He took out 114 to get to this point. Oh, and he's missed a big number. But he can't forgive himself. 80, Mark Lucar, 57. There's nothing worse feeling than the dart play when you miss the big number, especially after hitting the treble. Dubridge looking 
to capitalise. Double ten. Thirty-seven. Durant gets away Gal with 14. it. Can he get away with the first set? Remember, he was beaten in straight sets by Mark Dubridge in this fixture last year in this tournament. Double five. Oh, Thirty. and it may still happen Mark this year 20. because Durant has missed three darts for the opening set. Same target for Dubbridge. Good guide. Games and he uses it. Mark Dubridge. And you can hear the bellow from Flash, who Swing does take the opening first set. Line, his row first. Game on. And it's a game that is not just about throwing the darts, it's about the mental aspects as well. And I, I think we're going to see how Glenn's thinking and feeling right now. Dubridge not feeling up here. Well, it was almost a mirror image of that set winning shot 10 minutes ago. But now Durant does get the chance to double his lead in set two. Double ten. Oh, it's in. It's in. And it's on for Glenn Durant. Not a seed of doubt into Glenn, but, you know, Glenn just wants to, you know, set this up. If he can't take it up, sell it up, leave it for an easy finish. 100. Mark Lacar, 140. Another. One so, Durant, to level 20. the match, double ten. For a breeze of a second set. Two fives. Can he kiss the barrel? Game shot the has. second set. And Glenn Durham squares up this match. And the opposite is it. You know, Durham will be feeling like he's playing at the peak of his powers of late. And at the moment, the scoreboard says he's behind, levelling sets, but one leg one down. Hundred. And that could become two legs down if Mark Durbridge can clean up 138. He won't. So Durham will get a look at 82. So obviously, Glenn's got a good 82. chance now for 82. Needs to take it out because it gives uh, Mark a good free darts at tops. That's a perfect first dart. Yeah, beautiful. It gives him two darts rather than just the one. And he was so good on this when he was winning all those titles that put the stars on his shirt. At this point, Glenn, if Glenn took his chances in the first and the third set, he'd be walking off with a winning smile on his face. Oh, wow. wow. Missed the big number and the board entirely. Only one dart at double top. 18. What on earth Daniel is going on? Eight. Unless he was going the famous 36 22 route. <laughs> now that would have been bold. Glenn Durant now has that fire, has that determination, has Game that double, and has the lead. Mark Dubridge made a mess. Set, Only gave himself first. one set dart yeah. there, should have been two. And just see him wiping his hands in the background, but at the moment. Can he work it off the barrel? Looking at two fives. Ten. Oh, he's gave, Charlie, he's gave Glenn the chance here in 83. 83, sorry. Well, I think the referee, Paul Hicks, just called out the wrong score then and just had to be corrected. It is 83, which means 66, which means 50. Oh, and he finds it as well. What a dart that is. Right through the bullseye and right through the of this match. This gives him a good chance here. Just throw straight at the 20s. He's got the treble. So he's got 70 left. He wants the ball. Well, he had a brilliant ball to level at one apiece. He was pretty close, wasn't he, to finding it again. Double five. This is important. Yeah, and he sneaks it in, Mark Dubridge, but you can see the reaction. He's leveled the match. It's 2-2 two -two in sets. More pressure on Glenn. Yeah, it's do or die for Durant. Double top. It's perfect. Just sink in between the two. 20. Couldn't do it, Mark which means Mark Dubridge 
has match darts. He has two match darts, a double 16. And he only needs one. And you can see from his reaction there what a battle he's been in with Glenn Durant, who performed really that comes down to uh, well, like most of these boys here, and boys and girls, I should say, it comes down to on the day, doesn't it? You know, it's uh, you've had a blistering day maybe yesterday, and not so clever one today. Um, which is a day. Let's start with here. Set this up nicely. That's all to be looking at. That that's a good dog. That's lovely. No choices is whatever way Randy wants to go. Six. Yeah. Well, so far, this is a stunning display from Jim McEwen, and he might be about to produce the set of the tournament so far. Looking at double top for a 13 dart leg to whitewash the artist in the opening set. 97, Jim McEwen, 14. It's a double top. I don't think he's missed it yet, is he? Still on the first set. Yeah, so good on that target, and that's a fantastic Same set of darts first Kevin, from Jim McEwen. Only three yeah. legs, of course, but 107 average across it. Not missed double top. Till now. Much more marker. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even when he missed <laughs> it, effectively. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, he had plenty of time as well, so... Look on his face, it, it, it hurts. Yeah, McEwen's taken charge here. Of this set, of this leg, of this match. Triple 17. Okay, 84. Kevin's now Kevin thinking. If I'd have just left it handier, this would be a real opportunity. He yeah. can still sort it out. Treble 20 for tops. Ball, ball. No, what on earth. Kev. What's he thinking? Kev, no, no, no. Mind you, had a good marker for the first start, to be fair, but treble 20 all day long for me. Yeah, that's it. McEwen yeah. made it look easy and Kevin Payne said, well, he can't believe what's hit him and well, why would he in truth? This is a, an absolutely astonishing display. Well, Kevin, something else you've got to think is surely he's not going to keep playing like this and if you can just stay in it, then when their form dips, you get your chance. Exactly. 75 left in there, Kevin, he'll be looking at trouble 17. And it's it, beautiful. Double 12 left when he comes back. Jim on two, three, six. Yeah, Peter will be fully expecting to hear Paul Hinks bellow out 180 now. <laughs> That's exactly what's going to happen, isn't it? Oh, oh far out, oh, far out. Double 12, come on, Kev, get yourself on the, on the score sheet. He's there. Normally, Kevin, when he goes through his last start, generally. And to be honest with you, again, I wouldn't bet against him not taking this out. Well, it's double top. A rare reprieve for Kevin Painter and McEwen missing on that target, and for once missing when it does matter as well, because Painter should get at least one dart at some kind of double here. Maybe the ball. Yep. Didn't entertain the treble. Oh, what a shot to win the set. What a shot to win the set under that pressure. Yeah, back to... One forty for Kev, but forty for Jim. Let me level score in the fourth set. 170 for McEwen. Peter not on a finish. Does he go for it? I think he goes 10. Surely he goes for double 10. Oh, oh, so for a single oh, 10, oh, sorry. Yeah. He goes for the ball. And, and maybe maybe he's just lured himself into something there mm. that he didn't want to get involved in because Peter's going to be now breathing down his neck, tapping on his shoulder. 25. Yeah, leaves tops. <laughs> he's only going to get two at whatever double he decides to leave, which I'm sure will be 10s. I think it'll be double 12. Oh, 12, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Likes yeah. it there, doesn't he? He does. Yeah, well, to him, two dots at double 12 is as good as three at double 12. Needed a treble in there, it really did. So, Jim, one, four, two. 17s, yeah, another, another treble 17 double top. Oh man, what a way to finish your game out. Double top. 
Oh. Uh, it would have been magical from McEwen, but now Kevin Painter needs to pull out a perler of his own. 140. I wouldn't be surprised if the first dart goes in the treble 20 if he'd go for two tops. Oh, I think he'll say that. Well, what do I know? Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Under all that pressure. What a sh Double 12. There you go. This is a step back, which he didn't do before. No. I think he'd been able to do himself. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I love it, honestly. You, this, see, you see the nerves kick in. You this know? is the game, isn't it? He can take out that 140 on two tops, but then misses two darts <laughs> to win the match. And now McEwen's back on tops. At this minute, Paul's thinking about what he's got to say. Ooh, well, he might be saying there. game shot on the match. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double two for Kevin Painter to bring an end to this really, really captivating duel. Fabulous match. I've, I've really enjoyed this one. Nip and tuck. I like it. I, you know, one surge ahead and then Kev's pulled it all the way back. Look at double two. Double one. In yeah. the madhouse. Yeah. 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 And he has won it. Russ, what a performance. What a match that was. Jim McEwen producing a real purple patch for the start of it. But Kevin yeah. Painter showing all that fight. And just talk about that 140 that turned it around. Well, the 140, it, it, it did literally turn it around. Jim sat is already.